Hi everyone, welcome to Sean Burgess Fitness and thank you for tuning in to my latest Flexibility Matters video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to actively stretch through your hips and lower back and we're going to be doing an exercise from the ground where you're going to be in this four point kneeling box position. Okay, So we're going to be face down and it's quite a basic stretch but I always say this is a really, really effective one that anyone can do. So to get started, I want you to set up, as I mentioned before, in that box position where you've got your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Two things to kind of look out for here, we want to make sure that our posture is good before we start, so roll the shoulder blades back and down, get that little arch into your lower back, and a little bit of tension between the shoulder blades. The second thing to set up as well is to make sure that the knees on this are actually together, okay? So we're not going to go too wide. If they are too wide, it doesn't really work as a stretch. Then from here, quite similar to doing the knee rolls when I mean, you're lying face up in that supine position, you're just going to be dropping the hips, so the outside of your body, okay, so going away from that midline, get a nice stretch into the lower back, and then you're going to come back to the middle and work your way over the body, okay, so we want to try and keep the arms straight, so as straight as we can get them as we move. If you're feeling really flexible, you should be able to try and get your hips on the ground without having to compensate in regards to shifting the upper body too much or the arms excessively bending okay and that's when you know you're really getting the maximum stretch out of the joints if you find this a little bit too stressful to like start from that position and just obviously go straight straight in to performing the exercise you can regress it slightly and i don't advise going too far back on this but you can regress it slightly by taking your knees slightly further back and then just working across the body from that position there, okay? You will still feel it, of course, but from this position, that's where we started, everything's obviously aligned, you will get more out of the movement, okay? So that is really the only change that we can um, just bring into this stretch. If you do find that kneeling is an issue for an excessive period of time, I would advise making sure that you've got a nice soft padded mat or just getting a basic towel and putting that underneath the actual knee joint. Sometimes if you've got any tendonitis issues, that can be a factor. But remember, this is an active stretch. We are dynamically moving, and you're only really gonna be performing 10 to 12 repetitions on each side. So you're not gonna be down there for too long, but obviously that uh, adaptation is completely up to you. But that's the exercise there, guys. Go away and practice it. Add it into your warm-up routines. Add it into your mobility uh, routines that you practice at home. And if you've got any questions or queries about any of the information today, then don't hesitate to get in touch at any time.